hello everyone here we are looking at the questions that are given in the neat examination that was happened on may 1st 2016 this question depends on the semiconducting devices and particularly logic gates it is given in the circuit that we need to get an output of 1 for that sake what kind of inputs has to be given to get an output of 1 what kinds of inputs are given the possibilities that you are having is you need to give something for a something for b and something for the c what should be the inputs that we have to give across a b and c therefore i can get an output of 1 and if you notice a little bit uh, carefully it is uh, notice uh, given that it is like an end gate isn't it and this is like an r gate whatever may be the inputs of a and b if i have to get an output of 1 we know and gate works basing an intersection function that means it shall have a inputs of both 1 and 1 then only the output of and gate will be equal to 1 so i will be getting an output 1 only when c is equal to 1 if you look at the options in the first case c is given like 0 in the second case c is given like 0 in the third case c is given like 0 so they will be never able to give an output to 1 so the only possibility is c has to be equal to 1 hence answer is nothing but equal to option 3 option 3 is the answer and if you further cross check in option 3 a is given like 1 b is given like 0 because it's an r gate 1 and 0 is a union function can give you an output of 1 c is also 1 therefore your output will be equal to 1 so it's a very simple question given on the functioning of the basic logic gates so you can remind yourself that r gates works like a union function whereas a and gate works like a intersection function that's it thank you thank you for watching